Today we are going to crochet this fox and this is the pattern It's very cute, right? So let's take out the yarn in orange color and then hold it wrap through the pink pinky finger and then in that finger and your middle finger and hold it like this and we hold the hook like this and then put your hook into the loop on your middle finger and then yarn over you can like this yarn over and pull through the loop on your middle finger and then yarn over pull through the loops on your hook and we got a chain and then put your hook into the loop on your middle finger yarn over pull through the loop yarn over again pull through the loops on your hook and this is the first single crochet we can see the reshape stitch reshape stitch and let's take out the stitch marker to mark the first stitch lock it this is our first single crochet and then let's continue to the next put your hook into the loop on your middle finger like this and yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loops two loops on your hook and we got the second single crochet the third one don't make it too tight the third one and the four Six, so we got six single crochet for round one, two, three, four, five, six, and also don't forget to mark the last stitch. Let's create a metric ring. By pulling this end. Pull it tight. So there's no hole in the middle. And let's connect to the first stitch here. Put your hook into the reshape stitch like this, and then yarn over. Pull through the stitch, reshape stitch, and we got two loops on the hook. And 
two through the loops so we got only one loop on the hook and then yarn over again through through the loops on your hook and this is a chain so let's continue to do a single crochet on the first stitch put your hook into the stitch that we just slip stitch into and yarn over to through the loops yarn over again put through all the loops on the hook and this is our first stitch for round two Also mark the first stitch so we can easily to find out the first stitch for this round. And then we continue to do a single crochet for the same stitch to create an increase so put your hook into the stitch which is the stitch that we do the single crochet into and then yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over again pull through all the loops on your hook so we got two single crochet into the same stitch and this is an increase and we do six increase all the way around the second increase one single crochet two single crochet Continue to the next stitch, one single crochet, two single crochet, and the fourth one also single and increase, one single crochet, two single crochet into the same stitch. So you get the increase. One single crochet, the second single crochet into the same stitch, and the last increase. One single crochet, a second single crochet, and this is our last stitch. Mark the stitch using the stitch marker. And we do a slip stitch to connect to the first one. Connect here, we put the hook into over now we got two loops and pull through the first loop pull through the second one and now we got only one loop on the hook and yarn over pull through the loop so this is a chain there's one chain in the hook and for the for round three, we are going to do a single crochet and an increase all the way around. So now we do a single crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitch into. Stitch. 
气。For the first stitch, we do a single crochet, and the next one we do an increase. So, as we know that increase is two single crochet into the same stitch, so now we do the first one single crochet, and the second one. For the next, we do a single crochet again, and then increase, increase, increase. So repeat them all the way around. Single crochet again. Over the further loops and increase the first single crochet, second single crochet into the same stitch, increase and single crochet, and then increase first single crochet, the second single crochet into the same stitch. So is an increase and single crochet increase the first one and the second one single crochet and the last one is an increase again one two <coughs> Not the last stitch. For one four, we do a slip stitch first. Slip stitch to the first stitch for one three. This is the first stitch. We put the hook into the first stitch and yarn over. Now we got two loops on the hook and put the first loop to the second one now we got only one loop on the hook and this is a slip stitch this is the slip stitch and yarn over put through the loop and this is a chain after the first chain we do a single crochet to the same stitch that we do the slip stitch into. So put your hook into the first stitch and yarn over, pull through the loops, yarn over again, pull through two loops on the hook, single crochet. Mark the first stitch. First stitch. And for the next stitch, we do an increase. First single crochet into the second stitch. A second single crochet into the same stitch. And for the next stitch, we do a single crochet again, single crochet, and we got one single crochet, one increase, and one single crochet. Let's repeat them all the way around. Single crochet, increase.
is a single crochet. Always mark the first and the last stitch. And slip stitch. Take off the stitch marker. Put your hook into the first stitch around four and yarn over and we got two loop on the hook and pull through the first loop to the second one so we got one only one loop on the hook and this is slip stitch yarn over pull through the loop and we got a chain For round five, we do three single crochet and one increase all the way around. One single crochet, mark the first one. Mark the first stitch and the next stitch we do a single crochet again and single crochet again so we got three single crochet now for the next one we do an increase increase meaning two single crochet into same stitch and single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and one increase increase means Two single crochet in the same stitch. Stitches and increase one, two, and this is one five. We got twenty four. No, we got thirty stitches for one five. Mark the third. The last stitch and take off the first stitch marker and we do a slip stitch slip stitch pull through the loop and chain one and for one six we do four single crochet and one increase all the way around Meaning we pit four single crochet and one increase for six times. So the first one is single crochet. Mark the first stitch. And the second one is single crochet again. And the next one we do a single crochet again. Single crochet and the third round we do an increase. Increase meaning two single crochet into the same stitch. And for the next two, we do two 
two single crochet and this is a row repeat those process six times to finish to finish the round six and the next one we do single crochet and single crochet and increase increase and two single crochet again one two And we do two single crochet to finish round six. One, two, and we use the stitch marker for the last stitch. So this is round six, and we got. 36 stitches for round 6 For round 7, we do 5 single crochet and 1 increase Repeat them all the way around Slip stitch And chain 1 Here we do the first single crochet and use the stitch marker for the first stitch and two single crochet for the next stitch three single crochet four single crochet and five single crochet and for the next one we do and increase one two two single crochet to the same stitch and repeat them repeat all those process until the end one two two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five this one we do the and repeat five single crochet second one and slip stitch to the first stitch of round 6 we got 42 stitches for this one and single crochet this mark the first stitch for round 8 to round 13 we do single crochet all the way around 
and uh, this is the first single crochet meaning we do 42 single crochets So we have our 42 stitches for round 8 and for round 9 to round 13 we also do 42 single stitch single crochet all the way around slip stitch chain one single crochet for the first stitch mark the first stitch and this is one nine two three four five six seven eight nine ten for the last stitch of 11 round for round 11 we are going to take off the stitch marker we are going to change the color into the white yarn <coughs> Insert the hook into the stitch and yarn over for the loops and we put it here and take out our white yarn. Go over your in your pink finger and your index finger and Pinky finger, intense finger, hold it like this. Hold the end of the yarn and hold it like this. And we yarn over the white yarn, pull through all the loops. And we can pull the pull the end to make it tight. And we do a slip stitch using the white yarn. Slip stitch. Insert your hook into the first stitch and pull through the stitch and pull through the loop to the last loop and we got only one loop on the hook and the over pull through the loop and this is the chain so we continue to do 42 single crochets for one in a uh, one twelve yes one twelve for the first stitch, we do a single crochet, single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch that we slip stitch into, and put the end of the yarn over your hook, and hold it. 
use your index finger and your thumb to hold the pieces like this and yarn over full full over the loops yarn over full full two loops on the hook and we got a single crochet mark the first stitch we forgot to mark the last stitch for round 11 and now we pull on here this is our last stitch of round 11 and continue to do a single crochet here the next stitch put your hook into the stitch put the end over the hook hold it like this yarn over pull through the loops yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook and the next stitch also a single crochet put your hook under the stitch put the end over your hook yarn over pull through the loops yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook and put your hook under yarn over yarn over and now we can cut the orange yarn, we no longer use this. And let's finish the single crochet using the white yarn. So this is our one, two, three, four, five. The last stitch using the stitch marker for the last one and this is one chalk and we are continue to do the one thirteen slip stitch slip stitch chain one and first one is single crochet use the stitch marker for the first stitch and one thirteen we also do 42 single crochet this is the We are going to do five single crochet and one decrease. Repeat them six times, and we have thirty-six stitches at the end. Now we take off the stitch marker for the first stitch and slip stitch and chain one. 
For the first stitch, we do a single crochet and mark the first stitch and the second one also single crochet. We do five single crochet and one decrease in a row. One, two, three single crochet, four single crochet and five single crochet and then one decrease. Decrease meaning we pick up the from the pony and pick up the next form loop to do the crochet and let's get started the first form loop the second form loop form loop only and yarn over pull through the form loop yarn over again and pull through all the loops on the hook and for the next one we do a single crochet one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and five. Now repeat again the decrease from the pony and the second from loop. Yarn over, pull through the form loops, yarn over again, pull through all the loops on the hook. And over again for all the loops and mark the last stitch with the marker and for 15 round 15 we do a slip stitch and chain one fifth for the 15 for the round 15, we do 4 single crochet and 1 decrease but we do 2 single crochet and for the first row and 1 decrease and then 4 single crochet 1 decrease first row 2 single crochet the first one we do we use a stitch marker to mark the first position so that we can easily find out the first stitch first single crochet the second one and we do a decrease here and we do four single crochet one decrease one two three four and decrease Now we are going to crochet this mouth of the fox and let's take out the white yarn walk around your pinky finger and that finger and over your middle finger hold it like this take out the crochet hook 
insert your crochet hook into the loop on your middle finger and yarn over pull through the loop yarn over again and pull through the loops on the hook and we got the chain put your hook on the loop on your, off your finger and yarn over pull through the loop yarn over again pull through all the loops on your hook and mark the first stitch we do six single crochet for round one to create a metric ring put your hook into the loop on your finger again and yarn over pull through the loops yarn over again pull through all the loops on the hook so we got two single crochets and again yarn over pull through the loops yarn over pull through all the loops put your hook into the loops on your finger and yarn over or that's okay yarn over pull through the loops so we got one, two, three, four, five. And the last one, we over to fill the loops. And we got six single crochet, six stitch, six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And pull the tail in tight. Pull it tight until the hole in the middle disappears. mark the last stitch using the stitch marker and we want to slip stitch connect to the first stitch put your hook into the stitch and jump over to through the loops and we got two loops on the hook. Yeah, over again. And oh, sorry, I did it wrong. Put your hook into the stitch. Yeah, over pull through the loops. And we got two loops on the hook. And pull the first loop through the second one. So we got one single loop on your hook and yarn over pull through the loop we got a chain for the second for the first stitch the stitch that we did slip stitching to we do a single crochet put your hook into the first stitch the same stitch and yarn over Yarn over, pull through the loops. Yarn over again and pull through all the loops. And we got a single crochet. Mark the first stitch. And for the second round, we do six increase. Increase meaning two single crochet into the same stitch. So we got one single crochet into the first stitch and continue to do the second single crochet into the same stitch the first stitch so put your hook into the same stitch that we did the single crochet into so yarn over and pull through the loops yarn over pull through all the loops we got two and increase for the first stitch and the second one increase again single crochet one in the same place we do two single crochet and for the four for the third one we do increase again 
two single crochet in the same stitch. For the fourth one, single crochet, single crochet, the five, increase, increase. For the last one, it's also an increase. One single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch. Mark the last stitch using the stitch marker and we do a slip stitch we slip stitch into the first stitch for round two and now we got 12 stitches for round two yeah slip stitch pull through the loop chain one for round three we do one single crochet one increase for the same stitch the first one we do a single crochet mark the first stitch and for the second one we do a we do an increase increase so two single crochet into the same stitch and repeat the process all the way around single crochet increase increase single crochet so the second one is increase single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet and increase mark the last stitch and slip stitch into the first stitch slip stitch slip stitch and we do we have 18 stitches for round 3 we do 18 slip stitch for this round 1 we just do 1 and this is the 7 one. Three and four and five and six. We do the slip stitch all the way around five. I don't remember how many slip stitch we have. So just do it all the way around. This is the base of the mouth and in order to sew it together we have to save a long length of the yarn. Cut it here. For the nose of the fox, we use the dark brown color, certain 
use um, this long pin. This is the This is the mold, and the color for it here. And now we can make sure we put the eyes on this pieces. We have two eyes for this. We one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the back line and this is the middle of the front side here and let's come one eight one two three four five six seven eight it's like here and one two three four five six Let's check if it I think it's right here for the eye. I used another car for this one. stitches between the eye so now we put on the eye blocker here
Okay. And we do a and we slip stitch into the first stitch of the last one. Chain one for one sixteen. We do three single crochet and one decrease. Repeat them until the end. The first single crochet and the second single crochet. The third one and decrease. One. Three single crochet, one decrease. stitches for round 16 let's continue to the next round by doing a slip stitch For the first stitch, we are going to do a single crochet. We do a single crochet and a decrease for the next and single crochet again. Repeat it, repeat all the process until the end. The first one is single crochet. Put on the stitch marker. For the first stitch for the next one we are going to do a decrease pick up the front loops only pull through all the loops and for the next one single crochet again so there is one single crochet one decrease and one single crochet in a row and just repeat them six times until the end. And now we are going to put some stuff in it. Maybe it's enough. Okay, let's continue to the next round. It's 
slip stitch to connect your over pull through the loop your over pull through the loop to make a chain and for the first stitch we are going to single crochet single crochet and always mark the first stitch and then we do a decrease so for this round we are going to do a single crochet and following a decrease we pit them all the way around so single crochet again and decrease Mark the, the last stitch. Slip stitch to join the first stitch for the last round. And it's a little bit hard to in the hook. Never mind, stole it down. Okay. Yeah, over, prefer, and prefer. Yeah, over again to make a chain. Okay. So for the last one, 19, we are going to do six decrease so pick up the from the pony this is the first stitch that we slip stitch into and the next stitch from the pony yeah over prefer the loop yeah over again prefer all the loops Pick up the foam loop Foam loop and Over, pull through the loops and Over, pull through all the loops on the hook This is the last one. Take off the stitch marker and finish the last decrease. Form loop and the next form loop.
do a slip stitch to connect to the first one it's a little bit hard to find the first one the fox there's a hole in the middle and in order to make it disappear you have I have to sew it together use the needle thread the yarn and pick up the form loop only form loop form loop into each stitch pick up the form loop only into each single stitch it's just a, it's kind of short Form loop only. Form loop. Form loop. And pull it tight until the hole disappears and you can randomly insert your needle into to hide it Now let's make the part of the ears. So start by wrapping around the fingers. In that finger and middle finger. Hold in this section. Put in your hook. And yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loops on the, the loop on the hook to make a chain. And put in your hook, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over again, pull through all the loops on the hook. So this is a single crochet. Mark the first stitch. You can see the V-shaped stitch. Again, the next one. So we have two single crochet and three and now we have 
four single crochet and you can pull this tail to create a magic ring pull it tight as you can see we have four stitches now put on the stitch marker for the last stitch and slip stitch to connect the first one slip stitch put your hook to the first stitch the v-shape yarn like there's two loops on your hook and yarn over to the stitch and through the last loop on your hook so this is a slip stitch and yarn over again put through the loop on your hook to make a chain and put your hook into the first stitch the stitch that we just slipped stitching to here you can see a little hole in the middle put your hook into the first stitch yarn over pull through the stitch and yarn over again pull through all the loops on your hook so this is our first stitch for round two put on the stitch marker for the first stitch and for the next we are going to do a we are going to do an increase so increase meaning two single crochet into the same stitch so the first one we are going to do a single crochet and into the same stitch we are going to do a single crochet again so this is an increase meaning two single crochet into the same stitch first one next one so this is our last stitch put on the stitch marker to the last stitch and slip stitch to connect to the first stitch first stitch and here we are going to change the color to the orange one so take out your orange yarn and hold it like this wrap around your pinky finger and your index finger and hold it to the piece and yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook so this is a this is slip stitch and we are going to make a chain yarn over the orange yarn pull through the loop and we need to do a single crochet to the first stitch here the first stitch and you can pull the brown yarn tight and hold the pieces 
yaw over, pull through the loops, in, yaw over, pull through all the loops on your hook. So this is a single crochet for the first stitch. Put on the stitch marker. And for the next one, we are going to do an increase. Increase for the next one. So you can see the next stitch is here. And put in your hook to the stitch, reshape stitch. So there's the reshape yarn on your hook and you can see the little tail and put it here also the brown yarn put it over your hook and hold them like this get over pull through all the loops and get over pull through all the loops on your hook and you need to do another single crochet to the same stitch to complete the increase. As you can see, the tail and the brown yarn is are still over your hook. Yarn over the orange yarn, pull through all the loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook so this is an increase for the next one we are going to do a single crochet the next one is here it's a little bit hard to find but if you look it up carefully you can find out the V shape down here and we do pick up the stitch you can see V shape here and yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook so we have one single crochet one increase and end with a single crochet in a row and repeat them two times so for the next one is a single crochet and the next is an increase and the last one is single crochet again so here we do a single crochet and the next one is an increase here pick up the reshape yarn here we do two single crochet in the same stitch to form a to form the increase so the second in so this is an increase and the last one take out the stitch marker we do a single crochet here single crochet and use the stitch marker for the last stitch we no longer use this brown yarn so you can trim the yarn okay and Flip it over. This is the inner side and this is the outside. And hide the tail into the ears. Take off the stitch marker for the first stitch and slip stitch to connect the first one pull through the loops this 
might be a little bit loose here and make a chain so for this one we are going to this is one for we are going to do three single crochet and one increase repeat them two times the first one is an it's a single crochet always put on the stitch marker to the first stitch so you can easily find it out for the next one and the second one is also a single crochet and single crochet again we do three single crochet one increase and repeat the next one is and increase and repeat single crochet single crochet to the same stitch so the next one is single crochet and single crochet the second single crochet and the third single crochet and the last one is an increase increase again mark the last stitch if you think it's too fast for you to and it's a little, little bit difficult for you to crochet you can slow it down the speed of the video and we do slip stitch to join the first one slip stitch make a chain get over pull through the loop make a chain for round five we will do two single crochet one increase and two single crochet repeat them two times the first one is single crochet put on the stitch marker and single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet to the same stitch and the next one is single crochet and single crochet and two single crochet one increase and two single crochet repeat them again two single crochet one two and increase one single crochet in the same stitch two single crochet in the same stitch and the last two stitch single crochet again the last one single crochet mark the last stitch slip stitch to join slip stitch and make a chain and we need to do and we have now we have 12 stitches for round five and now 
you do a single crochet for the first stitch and mark the first one we do 12 single crochet for this one and the second one three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven the last one we do single crochet all the way around so the last one is also a single crochet mark the last stitch connect to the first one to do a slip stitch and make a chain the last round is round seven we do single crochet all the way around again mark the first stitch Now we want to sew the mouth to the head of the bones. Okay. Yeah, we need to thread it to the needle. And hide the tail ends into the mouth. Make sure the position is right. So here we here we go. Now we want to sew the ear to the head. And we sew from the from one three in like this. This is cute. One three in flat to the middle. Make sure the position. One, two, three, start from here.
Now we got a cute little fox. 